in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on fifty centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit you your home thank you for watching be blessed listen listen learn what I teach you tonight and you will play life like a chess many people will say you are lucky but you know what you are doing. You know, a few people see me and say, ah, Apostle, God is lifting you. You are fortunate. And I say, oh boy. When you rise by knowledge, you don't fear where you are going. Because knowledge took you there. It will keep you. Wisdom and knowledge, the Bible says, will be the stability of your times. Is God speaking to someone? Success. Imagine what happens to you when you are on fire spiritually. Imagine what happens to you when you are enlightened intellectually. That the scope of your relevance is not just the pulpit. Don't drop the mic and look useless until Sunday. Be able to be relevant to a civilization. And David served his own generation with excellence and intelligence and understanding. Imagine that you are healthy and strong, strong enough to see your children's children. Imagine that you are blessed enough to not think of money, but focus on God and his purposes. And imagine that you have the privilege to have quality relationships that become keys that open doors for you. That man is a success. I said that man is a success. Show me a man who is only spiritually alive. He may have an advantage, but in this life, he will pay for it. Show me a man who ignores God, but is intellectually sound. He will go so far, but he will end up looking like his past. Show me a man who has a healthy body, who dissipates energy, eating well, adorning the physical body, and forgetting God and forgetting his mind. I show you a man who will continue to flatter himself around a circle and remain there. Show me a man who all he's pursuing is money without this four. I show you a man who has found a job that will never pay him salary. The pursuit for money without these things. Show me a man who all he has is earthly relationships. He will now know that men are men. They will say, you are our king today and they will say crucify him tomorrow the same men men will clap you today and stone you tomorrow and say remember i was the one who clapped yesterday i've changed my mind so when you want to be balanced this message i am teaching you that you are receiving in one session is somebody's lifetime testimony this is pain that someone spent his lifetime learning compressed in one encounter is why it is good to come to church. I was glad when they said unto me, the church is not a nuisance to society. Just what I have done to you tonight in these few minutes, I have redeemed your time. Now you know what to focus on. Ah, so success is not what I seek. I attract by who I'm becoming. So you focus on your destiny while everything gravitates towards you. Imagine if years ago I kept praying for square, I must stand on your altar. This is my desire. It's a foolish prayer. It's unnecessary. Growth already answered that prayer. For I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. 
Listen, my brothers and my sisters, hear me. We are going to pray shortly. There is nobody you see that you desire and you admire. They look like mysteries because of what you do not know. Growth is a system. Growth is a system. The difference between you today and our great fathers of faith, the difference between you today and a Benny Hinn, the difference between you today and a Maurice Sorulo, the difference between you today and a Dangote and Otedola, the difference is these systems. That means I may come from a background weak, beaten by life, but I can begin to rise like you are rising, one step after the other. For now, you are paying attention to your spiritual life. Don't worry. Let me tell you this as I prepare for us to pray. I apologize, I know our time is gone. Years ago, when we started with God on campus, it would be stupid at that level to start teaching on money and start teaching on family life. It's unnecessary. There are levels in your life where the only thing that should be your message is God. Fire. How to fast. How to know God. How to study scripture. Are we together? If you are in that fellowship and you are turning and looking at a sister, you are really carnal because your mind should not even go there. Your assignment should be in the beginning, God. You come with fire. That's the time you have the strength to pray. You can look for one holiday time and spend three days dry because the glory of the young is their strength. You will not always have that time, I guarantee you. Today, right now, having a retreat is time I must beg God and have luxury for. It was from Mina to a conference in Kaduna, here, and then I'm back. I think all through this year, maybe aside from the election period, I've not had eight to nine days at home this year. Whereas there were days I was as free as nothing. If I did not redeem those days, these days would not come. It's, it's God speaking to someone. Now you have the time. Some of you, as young as you are, you are snoring away your destiny. Your father is sleeping, you are sleeping too. Your mentor is sleeping, you are sleeping too. That's the time to wake up and say, I will sleep in the future. But for now, Zakatoska Parakata. They say, this fasting, won't it kill you? You say, no. There's money in the future that I will eat well from. But for now, God reveal yourself to me. God says you are going to be an evangelist. And you, you get the map of the world in a paper and every night you are laying your hands on it. The nation so God. Today, I get very surprised. Young people just start with God and the next thing, they are, they, you come for fellowship as you are answering altar call. You are already looking at a sister. You are already looking at a brother. You, you see, oh, this kind of, this, this upside down pathway is why people don't grow. Please hear what I'm teaching you. Are we together? Ask anybody. Our fathers would tell you. When they started, they did not know male and female. They only knew God. It was even God that had to tap them one day while they are praying and say, hey, hey, hey relax. Father the nations, mm -mm. that's your wife. Okay, God, I've seen, but mm -mm. I'm not answering you again. Turn, go and meet her. Can you be so focused on destiny? Some of us like money to an extent. That's all you dream of. That's what, no, 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 no. Take it step by step. You are in 100 level, you are in every club, you are in every association, you are in every society, you are in every group, whether it's occultic or whatever. You think you are social. Any man of vision does not have that luxury of time. You must choose the things that are needful. Your academics, God, and then fellowship. That's how visionary people start. As you adjust, you will now have time for other things. Please reprioritize your destiny this night. There are groups to resign from quickly. There are clubs and associations that your pocket money is 5,000 or 10,000. The due for that club is 2,000. You are the only one who is a student in that club. Resign this night. And settle down with God.
every night challenge yourself whether it is raining or not get up to your secret place you are weak but you are praying heaven is watching my son continue this is the overseer of the ministry that will mentor the children you are praying you are a young lady here every night lord that i will know you and god says this woman this is the only kind of man that can marry her the kind of anointing this lady is working on is not somebody who is loitering around no this womb should bring a prophet not a human being are we together now yes this is how we rose as anybody who has risen here a time must come in your life when you will not have time for anything again except God there are people who graduated I'm not saying to do it but there are people who graduated and because they got born again late they allocated one year to seek God alone alone no nothing to catch up and those people are on fire they are blessed today there are others who have been busy since they were young till now they have not done anything you can choose where you want to be I make up my mind to be balanced I will know him and serve him all my days until I see him it's a vow and a commitment I've made in life and in death I love him more than anything ask him he's won my heart that's that's for sure I will never be offended in him. Number two, I made up my mind that I would not stand before anybody on earth who will look at me as a nuisance. Whether you are a politician, whether you are an atheist, whether you are a hedonistic person, I don't care. I should be able to present God with a level of intelligence that will make you know that Christianity is a blessing, not a nuisance. And since I found out my background did not provide for that advantage, I outsourced it through passion sit down by the truth by the truth don't give excuses by the truth don't buy clothes not with one buy books buy tapes sit down one trouser yes sir feed your mind please be careful don't say i'm a man of god everybody knows me i need to start dressing well who knows you who told you settle down all my scholarships as a student, all my scholarships, all, there was not one that was spent for me. For my personal, no, not at all. It was books and books. I had a small rechargeable. Every night I would sleep. I, would, I bought this compendium of Bible on tapes. Strong's Concordance, Dake's Bible, all of these books, the whole series, Kenyon, Hagin, the fathers of faith in this nation, I gathered them like this. You would think that I want to build a museum. Because the vision I saw, that version of me will be joking to believe God will take him there. As I leave this place right now, after the grace, you go to my room there, you will find my laptop. There are already things to study. I'm not going back this night and go and sleep and say, oh, I have a session tomorrow. That level of laziness cannot... Look, let me tell you, it takes stamina to stand on some dimensions. It's not just anointing generically. The anointing needs a vessel to rest on. I'm showing you the labor dimension. I, I, I'm sorry I did not really get into my topic today. We have a session tomorrow. But this, there is a price for uncommon impact. Ask my people, did you know that as close as I am to all these guys, the team that travels with me, I never really have time one-on-one -on -one with them. They also themselves, as close as they are, they look forward to times when I'm free so that they can now ask their own questions. When we go inside there now, they may not see me again till tomorrow. Act like you have not achieved anything in life. Act like nobody has known you. Act like your name has not gone anywhere. Don't plateau at a level. No, sir. Champions don't stop. The only thing that stops them is death. Champions never arrive. Apostle Joshua Selman, you're a man of power. You're a man of miracles. To what degree? To what degree? 
if you pray for 100 barren women and 10 get healed, 10 over 100, what grade is that, students? Talk to me. So if you pride yourself and say, oh, I'm a healer, based on what? Listen, let me tell you, there are dimensions that kings will not come to you. You have to press. Kings don't come to your light. They come to the brightness of your rising. It's Gentiles that come to your light. There is no amount of tiredness that sustains the power to distract you. If I miss out on my prayer time, I have a system of discipline on myself to make it back. Is it all right that I'm, I'm a bit open with you like this? Because many people, we, we like results. Behind results, there is a price you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine. Oh God, use me. Let me bless the nations. I agree. But my brothers and my sisters, you need to build stamina. The remnant of the house of Jacob will bear root downwards. And then will bear fruit upwards. We are going to have a few minutes to pray. Tomorrow I will touch on the topic that I came with. But hear me. <laughs> you are complaining already. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have to. <laughs> you want a vigil. We will not do it. No, 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 no. We have to be fair. I know you are motivated by what I am saying, but you have to sleep. Listen, my, my dear ones, listen to me, listen to me, listen, we are going to hear me, hear me, we are going to pray. Tonight, I know that I just shared with you a few things to challenge you. Tonight is inspiration and motivation. Why? Because many of us are at points in our lives and our destinies. Where if you get it right now, you have gotten it right forever. There is no power in existence that sustains the ability to clamp down your growth. We are trusting God for a generation in Foursquare that will be so young men who are extremely anointed and successful. Not anointed and struggling. That a day in the nearest future will come in four square here. Where it is, we will be a gathering of kings. You will see someone doing ushering. You will think it's because he's not employed. Until you see the company he runs. And when it's time to pray, he's rolling on the ground. That in itself is a sermon to someone who doesn't love God. I vow to myself that I will never lead weak people. It is dangerous to lead weak people. My greatly revered mentor who had gone to be with the Lord, bless his soul, Dr. Miles Munro. He shared and he said, a true leader does not maintain followers. He turns followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change. Listen to me. Seated in this place right now are the prophets of the next season. Seated in this place right now are the apostles of the next season. You have seen it in your dreams. I'm not telling you what you don't know. Seated here are the next Reinhard Bonkers. Reinhard Bonkers is already on his way. That belong to a generation. But are you ready for it? Or will it pass you and look for someone else? Did you know Bible students that the first person God called was not Abraham? Abraham's destiny was his father's. Read your Bible. The person who was called was terror. And he missed out on it. And the mandate shifted to Abraham. Who would later become Abraham, the father of nations. No one will take my place in destiny. No. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will dip. Coming after me. 
No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't coming after me. spend five minutes to pray I'm going to allow you I will call and then give us a few prayer points but in the next two minutes I want to leave everybody in this campground with God alone for the next two minutes find a corner and cry Lord I will not fail destiny there are men and women tied to my grace is there someone who can cry to God ah Come on, four square. Cry to the God of heaven. Let me encounter destiny. No shadow you will light up. Coming after me. No mountain you won't kick down. Coming after me. I will not fail destiny, oh God. You have called me to be a prophet to the nations. I may not look like it, but let tonight be like the threshing floor of Naboth. that must arise where are the Emmy Semple McPhersons Eli is calling Samuel where are you Is there someone praying? Oh no. The people of the earth. Ah. Let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy. Send us dreams and visions reveal the secret of your heart Lord our world is waiting let creation see the coming of your day there's gonna be a great awakening hey, there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a 
great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus they will be saved cry to the Lord pray I surrender all to you everything I give to you I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing withholding nothing yeah. withholding nothing Will you give your heart away? Yeah. Will you give your heart away so he can use you? Will you give your time away? Will you give your time away? And I I'm desperate for you. Few minutes and we're done tonight. Hey. And I I'm lost without you. Lift up a cry. Lord, I will not fail destiny. There are generations tied to my grace. There are generations tied to my obedience. People will not go to hell because I failed. Creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. Ladies, pray. Gentlemen, pray. I may be the first from my family, but here I come. Here I come in the name of the Lord God of heaven. Please pray. Please pray. A few minutes and we're done. You're not wasting your time. You are negotiating with destiny. my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my only Lord. I'm seeking you as a precious joy, not to give up, I'll be a fool. You are my only Lord. Sing Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to mention the five areas that I lifted and pray them into your life. Christ must be represented in this area. Spiritually, fresh fire. Mentally, I will be transformed enough to draw to my life the kind of kingdom influence that is desired to lift the name of Jesus. I live long and strong. This body is a gift from God to me. I will not destroy my body with drunkenness. Are you praying? I will not destroy my body with anything that can tear me down. 
adultery, fornication, drunkenness. This body is a gift and the only host that can keep my spirit alive here. pray from the depth of your heart yes you are God and you reign forever and ever you are the Lord most high yes you are God and you reign forever Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. Bear with me. The Bible says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, it says, let us lay aside. Is someone ready to pray? Father, whatever will make me lose in destiny, cut it away this night. Let there be a circumcision. If it's a wrong relationship, let it live my life. If it's an addiction, let it be broken by the grace of God. Someone serious with your destiny, cry. If it's anger, let it live my life. If it's laziness, it must live my destiny. I'm ready to get to the place of destiny. No price is too great. Hallelujah. 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 Hopefully my session, there's no time to minister to people now and pray for the sick. Tomorrow we'll leave that for the morning. Our minister prophesy over your life. We still have a session so that I'll allow you sleep. But there's just one last prayer. We'll pray to round this. Father, the kind of hunger that will attract the mantle for a generation. Listen to me, please. Not a mantle for a congregation. Not a mantle for a parish. Lord, the kind of hunger that will make you give me what you gave Reinhard Bonke. The kind of hunger that will make you give me what you gave the generals. Let that baptism happen to me now. Is someone praying, lift your voice and cry. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Someone you are praying for a generational mantle. The kind of hunger, oh God, that money cannot satisfy. The kind of hunger that fame cannot satisfy. The kind of hunger that the achievement in life cannot satisfy. The kind of hunger that the applause of men cannot satisfy. The kind of hunger that even my results cannot satisfy. Someone is crying. Someone is crying to the God of heaven. Lord, I know I'm a prophet. I have prophesied, but I'm not satisfied. Greater hunger. I'm an apostle, but greater hunger. I'm a first class student, and I'm grateful for it. But I cry for something greater, oh God. I'm already in ministry. I prayed for a woman the other day. And she had a miracle, but I'm not satisfied. Give me something for a generation, oh God. Please pray. Pray. Take away spiritual mediocrity. The hunger for a generation. Lord, they call me great, but I need a real mantle from heaven. 
I want to represent God to a generation, not just a church. Two minutes and we're done. Two minutes of a heartfelt cry. Four square, are you praying? God is searching men, looking for men in this end time. Lord, I thank you for my result in ministry, but I'm tired of this level, tired of this level. Thank you for my results in business, but I'm tired of this level. As a campus fellowship president, as a prayer secretary, as a Bible study secretary, as a, as a zonal leader, thank you for where you have taken me, but I refuse to let you go tonight. You must place something upon my destiny that is generational. listen tomorrow tomorrow will be I will share with you a few things but tomorrow's meeting will be an impartation there has to be a transfer some of you what you saw in your dreams what you have seen in your visions for many years it's time for something to come upon your life that a generation will know that the hand of God is upon you so while you go back to eat and to sleep, don't be carried away and start gisting and talking as if you are not in the presence of God. Spiritualize your mind. As you go eat, just exchange pleasantries, go to bed. Wake up with a hunger tomorrow and write it that today is the day when this mantle for my destiny comes. Today is the day when that grace I saw in the dream comes. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kata Branda Katapa Kotos Koto Brekateka Nekata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline